Hello again, YouTube. This is the truth, man. Giving you the truth. Look what we got to deal with in Milwaukee, y'all. Buckets of ice on the ground. And I, normally they do a good job with it. But I still got to get out and work. I want to talk about on um, this video how these... I had noticed because I watch, like I tell you all the time, I watch a lot of videos on YouTube. And one of the main things I'm noticing is these women be doing a lot of thirst trapping. They know it's weird. Like they can't thirst trap me because I see something like, oh, okay. I move on quick as I can. Don't like to give them any attention. But I'm noticing that it's a lot of thirst trap photos, thirst trap videos. Like, like it's almost like these women. And this is, you, well, I'm probably going to put this in the Isaiah 4 and 1 is coming to pass. Any woman that has read the Bible, she's going to hate if you call her Jezebel. They just, they don't like Jezebel, y'all. But the fact of the matter is, let me just, we have a lot of real life Jezebels. And I've seen videos like, oh, wow. She, she just trying to be on camera for this reason or that reason. Now, you got to admit that for these women to have as many STDs as they have, a lot of them are very particular when it comes to their outward appearance. Very particular. That's that's why a lot of them are broke because they spend more on lip gloss than you spend the whole month on gas. And then they'll have braces or, or something to straighten their teeth out. Then they do things uh, in terms of nails and this and that. Uh, all for thirst trapping. And it's a lot of them have become master marketers of themselves. Master marketers to simps. Remember, this is the no simping channel. See, you have to learn as a man to find a woman attractive and move on to your goals and your dreams. If they're attractive, they're attractive. So what? They gone, some of them gonna be attractive. So you gonna stop what you doing or put everything that you accomplished at stake for a piece of human steak, human flesh? You gonna give up half of your, your uh, earnings that it took some of you a whole lifetime to get your savings to where it is for these women? These women? Look, and then the thing about it is they know every man is different. Every man has his likes and dislikes, but they market themselves based on the majority. Case in point, the, the girl, what's her name, Paige, that um, is making a lot of money doing posts on sports. And she used to be a golfer. I think she still is. But she's making a lot of money because she knows how to thirst trap and she knows exactly what to talk about. She always talks about people that are trending whether it's Tiger Woods, whether it's Tom Brady. And it's benefiting her financially. Now, who knows? She's a woman, so who knows? What, you know, and, and I ain't gonna lie. Some of us guys, we have to learn how to handle money too. But for the most part, we're better than they are. Uh, thirst trapping. Then these girls that get on here, and like I said, and like, the lead attorney uh, shout out to the lead attorney like I just recently subscribed to him 
I got this from him. He, like he said, and it's true. You got to let people talk. Just let them keep talking. I'm like, look at I'm watching one of his videos. That's what made me subscribe. I'm like, look at this dude. He just sitting there. He making faces like you could tell what, it, what was being said was kind of annoying him. But he just let him keep talking and talking, talking. I'm like, look at this dude. Pure genius. Pure genius. So you got to let these women talk. Let them talk. You, how you going to learn how to handle them if you never let them talk? Now, you don't let them talk over you, but sometimes you got to let them talk, especially when they're angry. Just sit there and listen. It took me a lot of the wisdom I got now. It took me a long time. Because they will condemn themselves. Let's say you got a woman that's trying to get you to think that she... Let's talk to Mary, man, for a second. Let's say you and your wife is on bad terms. When y'all get into it, a lot of time you should just let her talk. And just sponge away. Just let her talk. Because she going to show you what's really in there. Because some women are linger around for monetary reasons. Whatever they may be, they vary from woman to woman. They'll linger around knowing they don't want you. And their actions will show they have no interest in you. You'll be catching them talking to other guys all the time. Like, why are you, why are you always talking to him? Why are you always talking to him? Even if it's just basic conversation. You be looking like, why is she always talking to this dude? I can imagine what she does when a guy that's more attractive than him is showing attention or talking. Can't trust none of them. Now you can trust, I'm sure you can trust them a little. But you can't trust none of these women fully. Not a single one. Not a single one. I don't care if she's been raised in the church. I don't care how she's been raised. I don't care about any of this stuff. If she watch TV or she on her phone or any of it, you can't trust her 100%. Most of them you can't even trust 50%. But they do a lot of thirst trap videos where you see the print, if you know what I'm talking about, the print, the hair. They a lot of them won't even go on camera till they got their hair done. That's why you guys start at telling them if they wear wigs and they got a cute face, tell them I gotta see you without that wig. I gotta see what's underneath what lies beneath remember that I'm gonna get you sucker don't make me hop after you you gotta see what lies beneath so yeah they, I mean they, it's a lot thirst trap then that's you know what's very demonic to me when they get mad at guys for looking and you're turning around this is what's weird they'll criticize a guy and 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 when they fall out with him they'll say he's g-a-y or he's this or he's that but the ones that be like man she got a fat rhymes with grass behind whatever you want to call it why are you looking at me? Why are you trying to treat me like I'm a piece of meat? You're treating yourself like you're a piece of meat. Isaiah 4 and 1 is coming to pass. All of this thirst trapping, it's going to catch up. What they going to do 10 years from now? When the ham, when the cheeseburger becomes their favorite food, what they going to do? Hmm? 
What they gonna do 20 years from now? They'll be, these, this generation of women will be 60 years old, still trying to thirst trap. And shockingly, it's gonna always be somebody with that fetish. People got a fetish for everything. But when it's all said and done, most of these women gonna either be by themselves or in somebody's harem. They're going to have to share some dude. And all that sex striking a lot of them doing in their marriage is really building up sexual energy. So when they finally let somebody in, they're going to be hooked on that guy and he's going to cheat on them. More than likely because that's what guys do. Like, guys ain't really trying to be monogamous no more especially in the information age you got all these guys that know the scriptures teaching them the scriptures and the scriptures unfortunately they don't promote monogamy they don't and G say well Apostle Paul did Apostle Paul is the same person that said it's better that you remain unmarried but as he said if you can remain unmarried, that'll be good. But it's better to marry than to burn. To burn with what? With passion. You say, hey, you're talking about hell. Okay, let me ask you something. You who read the Bible. How many times do you see Apostle Paul talking about hell? Hmm? Not many, huh? Couple, not many. So, he, more than likely, I'm just going to say more than likely, he was talking about sexual passion. And a lot of you guys are giving in, like you, you emming to these pictures that you uh, buying online and did they take it when they had a face that you like and the body that you like a lot of you guys at home working out yourself working out your genital area yourself and your thirst is creating more thirst trapping because these same people just go, if you if you if you know what thirst trapping is, this is what you do. Do what I do. You see, I see a thirst trapping picture. I take my eyes off the picture and I look right at the likes. I said, these thirsty. They gonna be high. And like the girls said, many girls, I hear them saying it all the time. They like the guys who ignore them. They like the guys that treat them bad, especially when they're younger. Some of them, when they get older, they finally realize, but it's too late. It's too late. You too, too gone. Your inside's too gone. It's too late. It's too late for you. You spent your best years chasing guys who didn't even like you. And this is, what, this is what I always tell my sons because they good guys. They nice guys. Like, look, man. And, and me and my wife done had disagreements because she don't like sometimes when I tell them these things. Like, look, man. Most of these girls, they don't like guys that's too nice. You got to get more cutthroat when you're in your dealings with women. And you gotta, you gotta learn to, that's when I started letting them play shooter games because I wanted them to develop a, a balance in their mind in regard to people. Like I didn't want them to be too nice. And they don't realize like when they be venting over them games, I'll be like, my plan is working to a science. Cause I don't want 
none of my kids to be too nice to people. I want them to be nice. I want them to be respectful, but I want them to know how to cut people loose. I want them, if somebody tries to fight you, you fight them back. These are all the things that I instill in my kids. I'm not finna just teach them the Bible and they be walking around here not knowing how life really is. Not knowing that sometimes you gotta be like, hey, don't, you know, I'm not talking to you like that. Don't talk to me like that. Like you gonna have your moments. And this is coming from a prophet. See y'all listen to these fake preachers. Some of them work for the elites and they're telling them to soften you up. Soften them up. Y'all know what was the hardest core story of all time? The one when the Messiah was tempted in the wilderness. I'm going to write a book on that one day because that's how we had to be. That when you get desperate, you stick to your moral code. You stick to your ethics. See, this is why some women ain't got it. They don't, they don't know how to control. They don't know how to control their urges. Their urges to control men. Their urges to use sex as a weapon. So what happens? They lose what they... I, I'm finna get a little... I ain't gonna go too graphic. But I'm finna get a little there. You wonder why guys are saying no hymen, no diamond? Because that's their best chance of keeping. If they're going to be monogamous, that's their best chance of keeping your interest and their interest for a lifetime. That's their best chance. Because if you out here lollipop and stuff and opening your doors your doors to men your female doors then eventually you gonna remodel your, your house y'all know what I'm talking about You, if you keep opening your doors your house is going to be remodeled. It's going to lose its value. Windows going to bust. Your plants going to die. I'm talking in code for a female body. See, you are tearing up your house. You messing up the house that you want a guy to choose to live in. And in the process of all the stuff that you do before you get married. Now you're married and you don't have no interest, no desire. Because you did too much stuff before that and you got too much DNA and too much stuff in your mind. And then the ones that try to act like they ain't dead nothing, keep vetting them. It'll come out. It's going to come out. What they did, eventually, if you listening, you know how to vet, you know how to remember what was said to you, you can be like, but I remember you telling me. And they get furious at that. Because they lose their, their value, they lose, they start to lose your respect. When all they had to do was just be honest, and a lot of y'all would have gave them a chance still. I don't want to find out the house is broken in, vandalized, pillaged after the fact, after the commitment. No guy does. But this is what guys deal with and they wonder why guys won't commit. They're like, well, it's almost like going to a basketball game. Like, you know, you know a lot of people been in those seats. You know a lot of people been in that gym. 
So you ain't gonna live in the arena. Even if you could, you wouldn't live in the arena. You wouldn't. But they expect guys to live in their arenas. Sold out gym, female gym, too many, too many uh, fans in and out. I done mastered just talking in code, y'all. Too many fans. And any woman that has lollipopped, that's the equivalent to me of having a body count of at least 10. Even if you only did it to one person. That, if, if you admit it, that's different. But if you don't admit it, and he finds out that you did that. Just be honest up front. That's all you got. That's that's your best chance of getting a ring. To be honest up front about what you did. He shouldn't be finding out stuff along the way. Because you're a liar. Be honest up front about what you do. And thirst trapping is dishonesty. Filters are dishonest. If you got filters and some guy, you start liking some guy, you be like, I ain't gonna lie, I got filters. I can send you a picture of how I really look, though. And if he rejects you, just take it. Still enjoy your life. I don't always give advice to women because women use it to con and manipulate men. But... Your best chance is to learn to cook, learn to respect, stay sexual. Don't use it as a punishment and a reward for him. Use it. Use it as a punishment and a reward for yourself. And as you can see, you have a lot of simps out here. Mashing on his horn after four seconds. These guys, uh, a lot of these guys, I could tell they've been raised by women. When you start having kids, let me talk to you guys about parent. Never. I'm going to tell you a mistake that a lot of us make. Never let your wife be more disciplinarian than you. Your kids should fear you. Because what happens is if let's say y'all get divorced, let's say she become a 304 or she becomes a uh, a feminist or a womanist or she now she has no interest in SEX and y'all get divorced. A lot of time your kids gonna listen to her over you. And it's gonna make you not even wanna deal with them. I've seen this, a guy was telling me about this on a job that I used to work. It happened to him and, and I, I done seen it happen to a couple guys. Like, if you gonna be with a woman, be with a woman who accepts your masculinity and your differences as a man and supports and aids your manhood. We waste time with women who just wanna fight and argue and act like they smarter than you and act like they better than you in this, better than you in that. You wasting your years, man. You wasting your years. Because if she try to keep your kids from her, just keep her in court. That's why you gotta have money. You gotta have money. And stop telling her every dime you got. For her to take it away from you when she when when what's bit in the inside of her comes out. When all her bitterness and resentment towards you over this and that. 
comes out. When all the, she didn't want you anyways, she settled for you. When all that comes out, you gonna need some money to defend yourself and to get your kids if you have any. Because let's be honest, don't listen to these preach. Well, listen to this preacher. Don't listen to them because a lot of them, they stuff ain't perfect either, but they believe in hiding the truth from you. And your, your average Christian preacher hides the truth from you. That's one of the things that I've been in. You might as well say I taught Sunday school. I was a, like a deacon. I've had functions in churches. One of the main things I noticed about a lot of these preachers is they hide stuff from me. And they don't study the Bible enough. And they don't do research. You should know this already. How is he going all over here preaching there preaching? You got to take time to, to, to unwind and to spend with your family and to uh, get the truth from the most high. These guys are always preaching. That's how you know they ain't learning. Now I can see if you are like a video, like you done studies this stuff and now you're talking about it, but you talking about, when you talk about stuff that you haven't studied, that's why people are not getting better in churches. And that's why these women giving their husbands dirty looks Stop letting her do that. Be like, don't don't ever look at me like that in public. That's disrespectful. And she gonna try to yell. Y'all gotta learn, man. Don't waste your year. I, I'll never let my wife waste my year. If she won war, she got it until I'm tired of it. And then I'll just move on. But don't let these women have their way. Don't even don't even give them their way 50% of the time. The most at the most 49%. The majority should be you as a man getting your way. And if she treats sex like a chore, be like, that's all right, I don't even want it. If you say that long enough, go get it somewhere else. Because really to be honest, the Bible never condemned uh, polygyny or any of that. People go by one scripture, and that's Paul, what he told his bishops. And there was a reason why he told them that, because how are you going to concentrate on the church and the growth of the church having all those wives? You ain't going to be able to. You ain't going to be able to. You ain't going to be able to concentrate on anything you got too many wives. And you women who talking about you got to be the only one, okay. Then you need to be 10 people by yourself. Your appearance should always be top notch and changing. Your move should be changing. What you cook. You better be 10 people in one. And you better know how to enthusiastically drain his nutsack. I told you I'm the truth, man. I'm a real prophet. You're not getting this little fake stuff. You got prophets walking around here with makeup on. The devil is alive. You're not no prophet for God. And I will challenge you anything in the scripture. And I guarantee you before it's all said and done, you're going to be just like a female trying not to let me get a word in. Because that's the only way you got a chance. That, that stuff you doing, it just proves that people not spiritual. Spiritual people won't even listen to this dude. And some of y'all probably know who I'm talking about. It ain't, I don't have to reveal his name right now. Talking about he's a prophet wearing makeup. 
What kind of prophet are you? Oh, I'm a prophet of Baal. Yeah, you're a prophet of Baal. And he has many people listening to him. And you wonder why the world isn't getting better. Because if all these people would, they say they saved, was saved, doing the most high's work, having the most high's wisdom, they would impact the world more. They would impact the world more. I impact everywhere I go. People like me, people dislike me, people learn from the stuff I say and do. I impact every environment that I go in. And the only people that get a negative out of it is people you can't reach anyway. They either gone mentally, they gone spiritually, or they gone mentally and spiritually. But these, back to stay close to the topic. When you will listen to a prophet, you got to be able to just, just keep absorbing it, even when he goes to the left or the right. Because I'm still really on subject. The thirst trapping is the works of the devil and darkness. And if you falling victim to this, then it, 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 it shows that you need to get stronger spiritually and mentally and socially. If you, I don't care if you got a sit down job, if you just sitting at your desk, looking at picture after picture, butt after butt, face after face, liking this, liking that. Yeah, I know your spiritual condition is weak. And I, I figured out that this is why I can't talk to a lot of people and why some, sometimes I can have a basic conversation that turns into an argument because some of these people, they just not deep enough. I understand that now. I understand that now. Like some people is just not deep enough. The only time I can deal with you if we have a beer. Or we going somewhere common. The deep stuff you ain't gonna you ain't gonna be able to go deep with me like that. Cause I can go deep, I can go shallow. I'm like a shark. I can go all the way down to the bottom and all the way up to the top. And that's not bragging, that's just you know. It's you learn when you when you learn to learn from the most high, it's gonna get you gonna gain wisdom. That's why when you pray, you can't always just sit there and talk. Sometimes it's good to fall asleep during your prayers. And I believe sometimes the most high makes people fall asleep. Just so he can get in them what he needs to get in them. Because that's sometimes we talk too much during prayers. You be worried about stuff that's not even worth worrying about. And sometimes not even there. You get aches and pains because you're not laying right at night. Laying on your arm, laying on your jaw. You got a rotten tooth. You saw your face is swelling up. And you think you got cancer. And then you can't even trust these doctors and dentists because they have an agenda. They think that their life is more valuable than yours sometimes. Sometimes. They be into all that deep population, all that weird stuff of evil people. So, again, I have the series. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to put this in Isaiah 4 and 1. Because I talked about too many different things. But thirst trapping, this, all these thirst trapping pictures, do not waste your time. Learn how to ignore these chicks. 
if if you really want to do something, follow them and then don't say nothing to them. And just see how they react to it. I don't follow any of them Instagrams. Not a single one. Not even one. I don't follow none of these people on Instagram. On Facebook, it's mainly people I know and people who know people I know. On Twitter, I don't I don't even remember my Twitter password, so I don't be on Twitter. TikTok, I created it for business purposes, never used it, forgot the password, who cares? And I'm trying to figure out how to get TikTok off of my Facebook feed. Because sometimes, like, if I go to the Facebook app, a lot of videos just play by themselves. But it is time to get to work. I have cars I want to buy. I have property I want to buy. I have things I want to do. And I have things I want my kids to have. So, therefore, my focus is not on bussing uh you know what my focus is on building wealth building spiritual wealth building economic wealth I wasted too much time with that chasing women stuff my younger years teen twenty I don't I don't have time It's better pursuits to be had. But thanks for watching. This is the truth, man. I have more new subscribers. Thank you. Sometimes they don't let me see your names, unfortunately. But I do thank you. Keep tuning in. Watch all the videos. Like them. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Comment if you're subscribed. And even if it's something you want me to talk about, put it in the comments. Can you talk about such and such? Because remember, this is the all subjects channel. No matrix, no simping, all subjects channel. The matrix and simping will have you in the dark. The all subjects channel. This is reality, not virtual reality. And I'll see you on the next video.